This next problem, I'm actually going to be sending for homework. Um, I know it's part of your core activity, but you'll notice your homework is actually reviewing um, some of the key material. So that's what we're going to be doing right now. Um, this problem number six on page 459 is going to be your homework for this section. It's one problem, um, but it deals with two different friends and they're taking a road trip. There's a few things I want you to be aware of. Um, they give you an equation of this line and they give you the equation of the function. And it looks weird. Um, we use a G and an M. Everything else I've been doing is using X and Ys. Um, there's one thing I really don't care for about this problem, but I wanted to share this with you. So this is the form Y equals MX plus B. What I don't care for about this problem is they're actually using M instead of X. And your M, your slope, is negative 1 25th. Okay, so that's what I don't care for is they're using X for M or sorry, m for x, and then they're giving you the slope. So I don't like that they're reusing variables because it's confusing for you. So what I'd like you to do is just think through g is the same thing as y, m is the same thing as x, and everything else can be essentially the same thing. So apply everything we've learned. Go through this and say, okay, I'm going to read this description. I'm going to try to understand what's happening. They're going to ask you a few questions about fuel efficiency. Um, what do you think that means? How do you, how do you reason through that? Um, I'll give you a hint. It has to do with something with the slope but try to understand what it means with the G's and the M's and what those things are. When graphed, say, wait, where's the graph? You could try to graph it, see if you can. Um, but if, if you don't want to graph, you can still deal with the y-intercept without the graph, but try to graph it, see what the picture looks like. Um, whenever it asks for something called the context of the problem, context just means story. So what story does this problem fit into? So when it says, what does it mean in the story? Well, what story? Well, dealing with fuel efficiency and gallons and cars and miles driven and Selena and Michelle. So tell me what the y-intercept means in the story. And if you're not sure, think about it for a little bit. You may not get it right away. Um, so anyway, so think through that, see if you can answer B and C. And then after that, you will need to complete, not those, um, but the staying sharp. And if your teacher assigns it, um, you'll be dealing with um, the more practice and some of the other things from this lesson. Okay.